My name is Dr. Julie Swenson and I'm the Associate Veterinarian at Fossil Room. Animal care is definitely the first step for finding out if there's any overgrowth. They're checking on those animals every day. So not only are they keeping an eye on which individuals have hooves that are overgrown, they're also looking for signs that that overgrowth is becoming significant enough to warrant anesthesia for a trim. First thing, you always have to clean out the hoof to make sure that you can see the base of the foot. So we use a hoof knife or a hoof pick for that. Once we can see the base of the foot, then you can even out the sides of the hoof wall and take the toe, that extra bit of the um, toe part of the hoof back. It depends on the type of hoof. You may not be able to get it perfect, but you try and get it as close to normal as possible. Once we've done that, we'll usually take what's called a grinder, which is just like a rough, uh, roughened metal plate that we then use along the bottom to even out all the surfaces a little more finely to make it even nicer. Um, once all that's done, uh, we will reverse that animal and it usually requires two different drugs. Uh, one is given uh, intramuscularly and one is given in a vein. And then within anywhere from three to eight minutes, that animal is usually standing after it's reversed and then it rejoins the herd. We don't want to anesthetize these animals multiple times if we don't have to, so we take advantage of the fact that we have them under anesthesia so that we can check for other problems at the same time. And one problem we always check for is parasites because this can be a huge issue. So one of the parasites we have here can cause them to become anemic or have a low red blood cell count. So when we're doing the hoof trim, the technician usually pulls the blood sample and grabs a fecal sample, takes those back to the clinic, and runs those while we're doing the hoof trim. So then partway through the procedure, she'll be able to call us and tell us what the PCV is of that animal and what the fecal egg count is. If they are high, if the fecal egg count is high or the PCV is low, we may give that animal additional treatments before we wake it up.